Hi, John from Inflation Support Services here and welcome to this EFT tapping on flying monkeys. Now what is flying monkeys? It does come from um, the old Wizards of Oz thing. We had the Wicked Witch of the West and uh, the, the flying monkeys that they would send out to um, stop Dorothy, the Tin Man and all that ongoing on completing their journey to seeing the Wizards of Oz. Uh, and these flying monkeys are also deployed by a certain personality type named as the narcissistic personality disorder. Now, flying monkeys, uh, let's explore this through EFT tapping and taking full responsibility for your own well being. Let's begin to tap. Even though I may have encountered a safe group of people. And I may have encountered a person at the center of this safe group of people. A very manipulative person. And a very insecure person. And a person who loves to include and exclude. And I still deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Even though surrounding this person, this person who may have done harm or may have tried to twist reality so that they don't feel pain or take accountability for their actions. And you may have tried to address this. But the safe group of people around you start to turn. And they may have gotten a signal that you're jeopardizing someone's insecurity. And I still deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Even though these people They might start to dig. And they might start to squabble. Like a group of flying monkeys. Who have been dispatched. By a person. So you don't get close to the truth. Of who's at the center of this group who refuses to take accountability. And I still deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. These flying monkeys, all of these flying monkeys, what was once safe is no longer safe. What was once purported to be good actually turns out to be quite malicious. And you tend to find whenever I speak to a person or whatever I've said in good confidence somehow gets back to the person at the center of the group like pouring water into a sieve this trusted confidant is merely a mouthpiece They hear what you say and feed it back to the narcissist. And these flying monkeys, they think they're so clever. They think they're so, they're so good. But what they don't understand 
is only part of a manipulation technique. Deployed by their savior, the narcissist. Who only sees themselves as the best thing in the room. And these flying monkeys like to deploy a smear campaign. They love to antagonize. So they can get a reaction and justify their own actions. Like a monkey stealing your banana. They'll justify you getting angry because they stole your banana. It means that you're an angry person. And that self soothes the narcissist. You had their insecurity challenged. Their vulnerabilities probed. And they got angry by that. And deployed a smear campaign. And there's certain cheerleader flying monkeys. That when there's no response, they start to antagonize so they can get a reaction. Fully unaware that they're being manipulated, that they're equally getting abused. by a master puppet master. And for the person that's getting abused by these flying monkeys, by this narcissist, it feels terribly unfair. It feels like a betrayal. And what felt good, all this grief, is grieving something that was never truly real in the first place. It was definitely alluring, and it definitely lured you in, but here I am now. And I may feel the need to dis defend myself. But that defense is more fuel for the flames. This crazy making behavior by the narcissist and their flying monkeys. They're one minded and they've made up their mind that I'm the bad person. And I hold true to my reality. And I keep record of this reality. A picture is worth a thousand words, a thousand words is worth a picture. And twisting all this reality can't change what's in black and white. So if they try to justify their actions with crazy making behavior, the truth always wins. 
hold true to myself. And I don't play into their games. And I do what I need to do. To keep a record of things. To hold true to my reality. But they try to turn upside down. And in time, with all the dust that they've kicked up, some of these flying monkeys may take time to reflect and realize when they've been played. And they might seek out myself. as a way of forgiveness for the pain they caused. And whether I choose to forgive or not will be where I'm at on my recovery journey from this narcissistic abuse And from this flying monkey abuse. And I shall not be rushed for an apology. I shall not rush be rushed for to be to give forgiveness. I shall heal my wounds. And hold true to myself. And let the monkeys be the monkeys. And let the narcissist be itself. And I can be me. Authentically me in my body and spirit. Taking a deep breath in and out. So yes, flying monkeys, uh, I've definitely encountered it many a time <laughs> in my journeys um, and it is a case of um, being very mindful of uh, what you say um, to some of these people that will be very friendly towards you and this act of friendliness is more um, a way to get information to feedback to the narcissist who, whose pride or whose um, sense of self was wounded and there are many um, of these flying monkeys that love to like kind of like a, a monkey with a stick like like to prod to, to, to get a reaction and whatever reaction that you give they'll justify um, that they weren't actually the instigators of that reaction so it's quite a sick little game um, but once again we can only um, play a game if we uh, entertain that uh, so sometimes it's not even playing the game and staying true to yourself and sometimes it is uh, keeping a record of actual reality because um, they love to twist it <laughs> so I'm down from Inflation Support Services and I'll catch you in the next one bye for now